Hey YouTube, it's A1ers back here. I'm coming to you with my week 49 BSG update. May 4th, 2015. Uh, one year ago. Today's May 3rd, but with leap year, it really was like one year ago. Um, May 4th, 2015. I was 200, 312 pounds. I had gastric sleeve surgery on May 25th, 2015, and I was 296.6 pounds in Tijuana, Mexico. And t today is May 3rd, 2016, and I am 201.6. Um, I kind of had a stall in the last week, and I didn't, I wasn't really following my diet plan as well. Um, I don't know if it's self-sabotage or what, but I was having bagels, I was having um, donuts. It's part of my job that I have to try our new donuts and they're amazing. The blueberry croissant, blueberry cobbler croissant donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. And we have a pepper jack bagel that's really good and I'm thinking that might be the undoing of everything I've done because I gotta stop eating those. Um, I've stopped. And uh, yeah, so but today I hit a new low, 201.6, so I'm really excited about that. Um, as many of you know, if you've been watching my channel, or if you're new, um, May 19th, 2016 will be my nine-year wedding anniversary, and me and my husband are going to go out of town with no kids um, for like four days, three nights, and um, I want to be un uh, 199 or lower. So I have like you know, 16 days, like a little over two weeks to lose a pound and a half, which I, I assume that I will be able to do that, but it's not uh, guaranteed. So I have to really stay on track and get it done, y'all. I got to get it done. Um, so part of that is I've been running twice a week with my mom and we go to this park and we've been doing interval training. Last week we were doing three miles. This week we're doing three and a half miles. Actually, I did four miles yesterday. Um, and then my husband and I yesterday started drum roll the Julian Michaels 30 Day Shred. I've never completed it. I've only like started it once um, several years ago, a long, long time ago. By the way, it is on YouTube. Um, I lost my DVD copy. I don't know where it is. I ordered another one, but uh, I found level one on YouTube. I believe I found level two on YouTube also, but I, I am not <laughs> ready for level two. I almost died during level one. Um, today was day two. We already did it for the day. We woke up early this morning and went ahead and knocked it out, and I can tell you that it was even easier just on day two. I think it's because... I knew what to expect. I knew what the moves were. I knew how long they were going to last. Yesterday I thought, oh my gosh, these, I had no idea how long we were going for. And I think just knowing that there was an end at the end of the tunnel and knowing that I was close to the end of the workout really helped me push through. And I actually completed more of the movements today than I did yesterday. Um, plus, yesterday I went on the four mile run came home and immediately did the video so I was already exhausted where today I had just woken up from a rest um, I had two scrambled eggs with cheese which ended up actually being one scrambled egg because I, I couldn't eat it all um, and coffee and a small like maybe four to six ounces of milk and a half an avocado for breakfast so we had breakfast and then we did our workout. And then um, after my workout, I had a Premier Protein Shake. You know, I love those. And I put it in a blender with like maybe eight ice cubes and another scoop of the zero carb isopure vanilla protein. Um, so it gave it like 45 or 50 grams of protein so that was just to like help my muscles recuperate and also hydrate afterwards because you know um, hydration is really key for this entire process you really have to stay hydrated um, 
I don't even know how people would function not drinking their waters or I mean not that you have to necessarily drink 64 ounces all the time or 70 ounces all the time I probably don't get that much in but I try to get like 40 to 50 ounces of uh, fluid a day but I include um, at least one of my cups of coffee and then I have um, sometimes like at work I'll do the unsweet tea and sugar-free blueberry um, flavoring and maybe a Splenda it's really good um, and then of course water and I have a harder time drinking plain water um, especially cold plain water so I put a little bit of the fit and active from Aldi's it's like zero carbs zero calories zero sugars it's nothing <laughs> but a flavor um, strawberry kiwi and I put just a drip of that in there um, so that's good last night my husband made chili with um, onions and black and red beans low sodium um, and diced tomatoes with low sodium and one can of corn so there's not a lot of corn um, but there is some in there to just make it a little bit heartier and of course beef and mix that together and it's really really good we have it with um, light cream cheese I can just do one dollop and um, sprinkle of I mean not cream cheese sour cream sour cream and um, a sprinkle of cheese and I mix that all up and it is so good and I can only eat about a half cup at a time probably good for me because it's so delicious that I would probably just completely gorge myself on it um, so yeah that's what I've been eating that's my progress so far that's my new journey is this 30 day um, 30 day Julian Michaels 30 day shred so I'm scared but I'm committed to 30 I'm day two I have 28 more days even on our vacation my husband asked me if when we go um, away for our anniversary if we're gonna be doing it and I said yeah it's only 20 minutes a day like or 25 minutes there's no reason especially when we don't have kids around that we can't work out for 20 minutes um, and since we'll be on like day 18 19 20 um, it'll be easier for us because I hear that it gets easier um, the more you do it you build your endurance so it shouldn't be that big of a deal to um, either pop the DVD in or connect to YouTube somehow even if it's on our laptop and just knock it out um, it's hard it's intense I suggest it I can see why people get results from it so I did um, Drea VSG she does Julie Michaels all the time so I had messaged her and said that we were gonna do it and she said to take make sure I take before and after pictures which was a really good idea so yesterday I took my before pictures for my 30 day shred and then I realized that it was right at about a year for my pre-op diet so I did a comparison picture um, which I will post at the end of this video um, and I'll probably leave up for like 10 probably like 10 seconds or 15 seconds or however long so you can see my progress um, in one year from my pre-op diet um, it's not my one year sleep anniversary but it is my one year from the beginning of when I started my diet um, for pre-op so yeah I went from a size 22-24 to a size 10-12 by the way my goal size is a size 10 and I am now a proud owner of one pair of shorts that are size 10 um, a pair of jeans that are size 10 and a really really cute it's over here I can get it one moment please wait the wait the really cute um one piece jumper so this is the t you know it's pants and then this is the top and then you know it's long sleeve pants isn't it cute so it looks like it's two pieces but it's not it's just one piece and it zips in the back and it's a size 10 and it fits really really cute on me so um I feel really good in it and I told my husband that if we go out for our anniversary um because we'll probably go out at least one night um while we're out of town that I might wear that and it will be good um, I'm hoping to lose, you know, my pound and a half or more by the time that I go there, so maybe it'll fit even better. Um, but yeah, 
I set my goal weight um, on my past on the past me being skinny um, or fit or thin um, that when in the past when I was 170 pounds I was a size 810 and I just assumed that I would have a lot of um, probably extra skin and, and such and that because you know I had been heavier for 10 years 9 10 years that I might need to get down to 170 in order to start fitting into my size 10s I am now starting to fit in a size 10 I'm kind of in between my 12s are bigger on me not all the 10s fit I'm definitely not a solid size 10 I would love to be a solid size 10 I think I'm kind of in between I do have three things that are size 10 that fit. My nose is so itchy. I'm not picking my nose. It's just, it's itchy. <laughs> um, three things that are size 10. So I'm kind I would consider myself to be a 10, 12, um, in between. So I really want to be a solid 10 and I think I can do that in 15 pounds. I don't see myself ever wanting to really be a size eight or, um, or lower. So I'm now, my new goal is to be 185. Um, I think when I'm 185 and I will reassess myself when I get there and it's not a race like I am not going to go on some crazy low carb diet to try to get to 185 as soon as possible because I know that as soon as I start eating carbs again I'll probably go up and have a little bit of a regain so I'm just going to stick to what I know um, just I mean it's probably gonna be lower carb higher protein and exercise just having a healthy lifestyle I'm not going to say no to no carbs like I had been when I lost five pounds a couple weeks ago um I want to do it really healthy and I want to get there as long as I get there um it'll be good I'm already starting to wear size tens so I feel like I'm already kind of a success story um so that's what's going on with me. Uh, I'm at 169 subscribers. Thank you all so much. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, I like to know that these videos are being watched and that I feel like I'm making a teeny tiny drip of a difference in anybody's life, even one person. So I appreciate all of you for watching and all the comments that I've had lately. And, um, yeah, I wish you all out there a big success. And, um, yeah, I am feeling really good about myself. And I will also post a picture of me in my size 10 jeans. And the shirt that I have on is one of the shirts that my husband bought for me. And it's a junior size, large size 11 shirt. So, um... And I think it looks really cute on me. So, so I'm feeling normal. I'm feeling good. I feel like I feel successful. So, um, yeah. I'm hoping, like I said, that in 15 pounds I'll be a solid size 10. And then I'll try to maintain. At least that's what I feel like right now. I might get to 185 and I might not have had much of a difference. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to have a big difference in my body at the end of this 30 day shred because <laughs> uh, it really works your muscles for real. So I got the hiccups. Anyways, um, so I told you what I had for breakfast and then I told me about my shake and then for lunch I had a little like a one ounce teeny tiny like one ounce um, thing of steak and the rest of my egg so another egg because I made two eggs but I can only eat half of it so I ate the other egg and like three pieces of asparagus and about five pieces of okra so that's what I had for lunch and then for dinner I'm gonna have my chili that my husband made last night okay well this is getting to be about 15 minutes so I will let you go um, I wish you success this week make good choices and um, hopefully next week or at least the next week after that I'll be 199 believe me you if I get to 199 I'll probably do a video before that so if by some chance I lose a pound this 
tomorrow and or this week um or the 1.6 that i need to lose to get to 199.8 or whatever um i will be doing a video immediately probably screaming at the top of my lungs but we'll see if you can make out anything that i say i'll just be so ecstatic that i'm under 200 pounds because i haven't done that in forever <laughs> So, okay guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.